Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another episode of Rewatching the Grassy, and we are on the season four finale. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be on a finale. It's just so crazy. Like every time we get to a finale, I'm just like, we're done. But then I'm like, we're not done <laughs> because we're only on season four finale. We still have 10 more seasons plus Degrassi, the next class. So this is still gonna be going on for a really long time, but I'm so excited. So today we are on season four episodes 21 and 22 titled Going Down the Road, parts one and two. So this episode is pretty much them filming the Kevin Smith movie. I've never really cared for this episode, especially as a finale. So I've probably only seen this episode maybe like twice because I typically just skip this one because I feel like who cares? So this will be really exciting because honestly, I feel like I haven't watched this episode in so long so we're gonna go ahead and get started but before we do make sure you guys like comment subscribe all that great stuff you already know say it with me subscribing, subscribing is, free is free as hell, hell. you guys got it y'all know me y'all know me you already know what i was gonna say but yeah go ahead and subscribe i'm getting close to like i don't even know where i'm at i'm like at 1600 i want to get to 2000 soon so just do it. And another thing before we get started. So if you guys remember last season of Rewatching Degrassi, I did like a little Degrassi Big Brother simulation and that did really well. You guys seem to like it. So I did film a second one for season four. However, my footage came out shitty. If you follow me on Instagram, you already seen it. But if you haven't, I'll put like a little insert of the footage that I shot. I don't know why it came out. Well, actually I do know why. It was something with my phone settings, but I still have the screen recording of everything that happened. And like, I think my voice is in it too. So I can put it out like that. If you guys just don't care to see my face in it, but let me know down below if you guys want to see it. It was really fun to do. I'm just really mad that my footage came out like that because it was really fun. Oh my God, my phone is not on vibrate anyway so yeah if you guys want to see that let me know and i'll put it out um if not then we can just do another one for season five yeah so that's all i gotta say let's go ahead and get into it she's uh she's abandoning me tomorrow oh that's right london calling what are you gonna do before you leave the uk see a movie in leicester square ashley is leaving this is gonna be the last time we see ashley for a minute i'm so excited i am so excited less than 24 hours from now and i'm on a plane to england Yes, I'm so excited for you, Ashley. I'm so excited for you. Oh my God. So this is gonna be the last time we see Ashley. I really honestly don't know like the B plots of these episodes. I know that the main plot is them shooting the movie. And I know like Craig and Ashley probably go through something. I know Caitlyn comes up. Oh, Caitlyn, freaking Ryan. I'm gonna say Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> if they ever needed a reason, I would say that the um, very alluring women of the true North would make any right thinking man. Want to go Canadian, Miss Ryan? Girl, we do not care about Caitlyn Ryan and her haircut. I don't care. So, uh, what are you having? We have prime rib, chicken cordon bleu. Uh, I'd rather eat my own liver than accept food from you two scumbags. Manning, do I need to remind you that I'm holding a big scary knife in my hand? Yeah? Watch your fingers. Okay, Craig. He did what he had to do because they really had the nerve to come up in the school. We get that the guy is catering the event. Who fucking cares, honestly? You could have stayed away from this catering job. Ugh, the angst. Thank God I'm not a teenager anymore. It's not funny. That's right, it's, it's, it's pathetic. I've always found his character weird because he's got to be like a grown up and he's always flirting with the students. Like once again, the grass, he just don't know like age barriers, age, you know gaps the teenage girl thing has to stop it was funny the first time now it's just sick it's sick finally at least he said something about it <laughs> so you don't think me going to england's the worst idea since whatever my last idea was i think a summer away would be great for you actually honestly at this point in the series craig could go too he doesn't go we all know but i wouldn't mind craig leaving either they want to revive ryan's planet really from up here? Down there. But, um, well, of course I, I can't accept it. At this point, they can go too. Bruh, let Ashley and Craig go to London, let Joey and Caitlin go to LA, and just get rid of them. They get on my nerves. I don't like them. I mean, England probably wouldn't even let a psychopath like me in, right? They already had one, Jack the Ripper, and mad cow disease. I'm not saying that, Craig. It's... 
I don't care. It's really hard for me to get into this episode. I really do not like this episode. It's probably my least favorite episode. Uh, I just spit everywhere. That was so nasty. It's like one of my least favorite episodes of all of the Grassy TNG. Yes, Mr. Smith, did you love me? Did you really, really love me? Oh, love's not the word, hon. That's a wrap for you today. Thank you. You were very, uh, you were very. She can walk now? Oh, she has something really? else. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I know she ain't just heal overnight. Every time I hand something awesome. into you, you that, rip it apart or you change it. And that's what it's all Why? Why? Just kind of you tell me, Caitlin. Right? This isn't Ryan's alone, world. Right? Ryan's planet. That or that. In... It's local heroes. I quit. <laughs> she quit. Oh my god. She's a quitter. There are conditions, though. I'm going to be calling the school to disclose your illness. I want you to call me every day, especially if something doesn't feel right. And I want Mr. Kerwin to keep an eye on you, too. Yeah. Everything. Anything. I can handle it. So does he go? I thought he didn't go. Maybe something happens. I'm telling y'all, I didn't. I don't watch this episode because I don't like it. I could have sworn he doesn't actually go. Because Ashley doesn't want him to, right? Something like that. You're just flying to London? That's what planes are for. You, you can't follow me to England. I was right. Look, this brain of mine is so big. I love you, but ever since my dad's wedding, it's been me worrying, me watching for signs, watching what I say. Why won't you just believe me? I'm better now. I'm okay. I am. I kind of feel bad for Craig here. Ashley's doing it to him. Joey's doing it to him. Anytime he is passionate about anything or just really wants to do something, they assume that he's not on his medication. And that's really annoying, I bet. He's already like not too happy about being bipolar. And the fact that every time he is passionate about something, I'll be like, oh, are you on your meds? Are you are you still taking your meds? Like, make sure you take your meds. Like, that, ooh, I would be so frustrated. That I've always kind of been waiting for that one woman that just, you know, makes me iris in. I'm sorry, did you say you were like hitting on me before? I completely forgot in this moment that... <laughs> okay, so this whole conversation was going on and I'm probably not gonna put it in the video because who cares about like her hitting on him. And I literally forgot until after they got done kissing that she is literally with Joey. <laughs> I forgot Joey existed for like 10 minutes. Yeah, just marry me. I wanna come home to you. I wanna wake up with you. I wanna focus all my attention on you. I thought you'd never ask. Yes. Girl, don't nobody care that y'all get married. Nobody really cares. Does anyone care? Raise your hand if you care about Joey and Caitlyn getting married. No one. It's crickets. Oh, he's gonna stop taking his meds. Oh no, Craig, please. Please, Craig, you like take two steps forward and 20 steps back every time. I wanna like Craig, y'all. I do, I want to like him, but he's always making poor decisions. Passport, all my phone numbers, Ashley's dad's number. Yes, for the 400th time, stop worrying. We're all grown up. And Joey is always so oblivious to everything. He doesn't know anything that's going on in Craig's life. Joey's a horrible parent. I mean, he's not bad, but I mean, he did give Craig $10,000, a 17 year old $10,000, and then asked him to pay his mortgage. <laughs> Maybe Joey is bad. <laughs> that was so bad. And now he's going to London off his meds to be with a girl that doesn't even want him there. Oh, Wu Chale, Wu Chale. Okay, let's go ahead and go to part two because honestly, not feeling this episode. We're gonna just keep going. Even if the chicks are already spoken for. Christine, you may be spoken for. This one, though? Ask Joey to marry her. Um, wow. I must be the worst kisser in the world, because... No, Kevin, no. That is really trifling. Like, you kiss this dude, even though you're already with someone, and then you go propose to the dude that you were with, but you're, like, working. It's, it's complicated. I can't even put it into words how complicated unnecessarily this is. Y'all look at my AirPods. They're falling out of my ears. Apple, y'all need to do something. Or is there something on Amazon I can get to make these fit better? Because obviously my ears are just abnormal. Yeah, I'm not getting freaked out by this lame hide and seek game. Oh yeah, Craig's gonna be living in the boiler room, right? 
Dude, I just want to say about Ash and the whole band thing. Oh, it's been, it's in the past. It's like, it's water under the bridge. It was a virus. I hate when, I see, when Craig acts like this. Uh, y'all already know, Craig is like the only person on this show that makes me cry whenever he does anything. Like, I don't know, it's something about, it's the actor. Jake Epstein, probably one of the best actors to ever be on the show. He just really brings out the emotions in me. I talk a lot of shit about Craig, but I like Craig. He just makes horrible decisions and he just, <sighs> okay, anyway. Uh, Mrs. Joey, that'd be your line, hon. Not Mrs. Joey, <laughs> he's not Petty, not Kevin Smith being Petty. It's real easy, just jump behind there, start acting like you're not up in your head thinking about wedding gowns. I love how petty Kevin is being. I'm the only one he can trust. Joe, you fly off the handle. And you don't think. You never have. Like, up and, and quitting your job. Why? Oh, OK. Thanks for mixing up the fight, Joey. You want to consider yourself part of this family? Don't pull the family card. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have a roof over your head, remember? Period. She the one who bought the fucking house. Oh my god, Joey is so bad. How are you going to blame Caitlyn for Craig not? I don't like Joey. Joey is trash. Trash bag. Trash bag. Hefty. You're the only person I want to talk to. Come on. Look at Kevin Smith being a sideline hoe. How are you gonna be a side dude? I'm gonna say a side chick. How are you gonna be a side dude? And be okay with that. And now Craig, oh, I remember this episode. Oh my God. Craig's gonna be like homeless because he's gonna. Craig, <laughs> why does he do this? Oh my god. Okay, Craig literally makes this episode ten times better for me because he brings it. The acting, the drama, he brings it. Oh, sir, look! God, did you oh, die? Hey, hey. Sorry. I'm looking for Caitlin. They ain't got no clothes set. They just let have people walking in the set like that. Anyway, I don't know why the movie is like the main plot of the season finale. I don't know why they didn't flip it around. Let this be the B plot, because who cares? Wait, skinny, stop. He's always getting beat up. Craig. No, 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 not my guitar. No, 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 please don't make it. <laughs> Craig, I don't know why. Is is it because of the bipolarness or is it just because he just don't think? He has to make better decisions. It's, we have four seasons in. For him, three seasons, because you remember he came in in season two. He still has not learned how to make better decisions. You are almost grown at this point. I'm sorry, I have to try this again. Mr. Smith? James Tiberius. The testy first AD wants you on set, as in immediately. He really tried to kiss her again in front of the school where anyone can see because we all know Caitlyn is with Joey. I don't understand why people just don't make better decisions on this show. Like, it's like they don't have brains. It's like there's nothing up there, which for a lot of people is common for some odd reason. I got him to agree to go to the police first thing and give a description of this skinny. Who calls themselves that anyways? Who calls themselves snake or wheels? Just hope this guy's neck is skinny enough for me to break. He might be mentally ill too, Joey. Remember that. I mean, maybe he's another lost Craig. Oh, come on. You don't see Craig beating up strangers in the street, do you? No, he just beats you up at home. Just... Forget it. Look at Caitlin making points. Joey doesn't think. That's like the number one statement I've been making in this episode. People don't think. That's got to be the title of this episode because... Why? You know, thinking is free as well. You know, just like subscribing to my channel, thinking with your own brain is free, but people just insist on not doing that. And I just don't understand why. Caitlin, do yourself a favor and just get away. Just end it while you can. Not me on Caitlin's side. Okay, I'm gonna do a poll. I never do polls on my channel. If you made it this far, congratulations. You're gonna be able to vote in the poll. So who is worse, Caitlin or Joey? Vote up here. I don't want her to go. I know. I know. The parallels between like Craig and Ashley and Caitlin and Joey. 
They're both the same. They're both the same. Joey didn't want Caitlyn to go. Carrick didn't want Ashley to go. But honestly, Ashley and Caitlyn are doing what's best for them and getting away from both of them because they they aren't ready for like relationships yet because they need to get their own shit together. Can't say that I'm sad about it. All right, so that is the end of the season four finale. Watch it again after a long time. I like it a little bit more. I could do without the Caitlyn, Kevin Smith thing. I can do without that. I can do without Joey. But Craig made this episode really good. Caitlyn actually, I'll, I'll take it back. Part one, I didn't care about Caitlyn. Part two, she did what she had to do because she made points with Joey. Like she was kind of reading him left and right. And honestly, I was here for it. So Caitlyn, shout out to you. You did great. So yeah, that's the end of season four. Wow. When did I start season four? I always like to do this. I like to see when I started the season and then when I end one. So I started season four on December 2nd. Are you kidding? It took me four months to get through the season, which I mean, that's, that's not bad. I think that's, that's way better than season three. Season three took forever. Season three took me from May to November. That was six months. So I did a really good job. Yeah, the next time you guys watch, we'll be doing season five. OMG. And I'm gonna be doing Grassy Junior High soon as well. I just have so many video ideas in my brain that it's hard to get back to that, but I'm gonna be doing those again soon. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that awesome, fantastic things. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.